Oh, hey guys, what's up? I didn't see you there. I'm just here uh, off-roading my F1 car. No big deal here. Um, just, just taking it for a little spin. Just... <laughs> what is going on? Why is this a thing? So yeah, I bought an F1 car. This is sick. This is the Red Bull, I think, RB13. Look at it. This is insane. Why am I allowed to drive an F1 car off-road? Because it's the crew, that's why. Anyway. I just fast traveled here, um, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take it to a track and the closest one I've seen is this one right here, so I'm gonna go to this track, I guess. Um, we'll see, I guess this is the way to enter right here, so I'll just put a waypoint. Um, and let's try to get there. Let's see uh, how good this F1 car is. So, I've only driven it off-road right now. I've literally, I had it on the track, I just fast traveled here because I needed to. And, uh, yeah, let's go over to the place. It's apparently 16 miles away, if I use the actual path. So, let's just not use the actual path and, uh, make my own path. See, one of the coolest things about this game is I love driving just random cars on the street and then just taking them to a track. It's actually pretty damn cool. I, this is such a good idea. This should have been in, like, every game ever. Forza needs to have this feature as well. Like, Horizon 100% needs to have this feature. Where did just add random tracks to the game? How sick is that? Like, just a big open world map. I mean, like, this one's just absolutely gigantic, first of all. And then there's just random tracks around as well that you can take your car on. And in this case, I kind of need to go there because it's an F1 car, so I kind of need to sort of stretch its legs properly on that track. But being able to drive an F1 car on the road is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. So, let's try to see what sort of top speed this baby has before we actually take it onto the track. And drive it there. It's kind of difficult to drive right now because I turned off all assists, so track to troll everything turned off. So his tune, okay, it doesn't turn at 200 miles per hour apparently. Oh god, yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to save when I'm doing that sort of speed. Anyway, let's try to keep this going. It's really really agile. 228 miles per hour. It's not bad. Under the barrier. Oh, come on! I definitely should have been able to go under the barrier. Oh, that sucks. That would have been kind of a, a funny idea to try. Anyway, we made it to the track. And it's going to go into daytime as well, which is perfect. You guys can actually see what's going on in the video and not have just a big black screen in front of you. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Let's see what our track is actually like to drive on. Um... This is great. So just start off. Just, I can just go on the track. I can. I can just hop on the track. Uh, what way is the right way? Is it this way? I'm gonna guess it's this way because I've seen that go through this way. So let's just go this way. I'm gonna try to refrain from using NOS as well. This could little make it a little bit more interesting. I have to really get used to driving this thing. I really do. It's super, super grippy. It's really, really grippy. I have to figure out... At what speed I sort of like lose grip. Let's go this way. I don't know what sort of track I'm actually taking here, but there's multiple ones. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more interesting and try to take some corners with this thing. This is nice. That This little section here, what I just did there, in reverse, I think it'll feel exactly like Yas Marina. Literally the exact same. Damn, this is nice without track control. This is really nice with traction control. I wonder what it would be like with it on. Oh, wow, there's a challenge here to slalom around these. Okay, let's just do it. There's so many little events as well, just everywhere on the map. This is great. I missed one, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, 
Not bad. Not bad at all. What do I get for that? 9,100 points. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. And I get a grant for that, which is pretty much nothing. Do I get any sort of parts for this at all? But I don't... Oh, I will! Oh, yes! I'm actually going to get this thing to be even faster than it actually is. That's kind of interesting. Let's try it out. We got some suspension parts. 281 on this thing. Not bad. Not bad. I need to do more of these. I want to get some more parts to get this thing to be really, really fast. But, I mean, I just bought this thing. Nice, and it's finally daytime. So you guys can see what this thing is actually like. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty interesting experience to drive an F1 car on the road. It actually does slide as well. Unintentionally, getting it to slide. Because I'm putting too much power down. But it's mad having an F1 car in a free roam game. It really is. I feel like this would have been such a cooler experience if there was like just more F1 cars. It's really fast. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. I just wanted to show you guys... Okay, we're drifting in the F1 car. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of... Uh, of the Red Bull F1 gameplay. I thought that would be kind of interesting to... Uh, to show you guys a little bit of the car on the track. I haven't actually visited a proper track yet. I visited the one where it's just like sort of an oval. That's pretty much it. But I haven't visited like an actual track with proper, proper corners. So I like that uh, I finally gave it a shot now in this game. I can't wait for the full game to be out. I really can't. Um, but I also do think that this is going to be the last video of the crew too until the full game comes out because I don't think I'll be able to have any more footage for this game. Um, the, like, the, the beta is pretty much up right now, as you guys are watching this video, so I would have grinded a lot for money, and I, I, like, I tried my very, very best to get as much money as I possibly can, but I can't, like, sit on this game for that long and be able to just grind money, or pretty much just grind one race to get money to buy things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of F1 gameplay, because I don't know how many people actually were able to buy this car, first of all. I know you can test drive it as well, you can test drive a bunch of cars in this game. But uh, still, I just wanted to give it a shot and see what this thing was actually like. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's short little video. Um, so this was, I guess, going to close out the Crew 2 beta. Um, I guess once the full game comes out, I I've already purchased the game, so don't worry. You guys are going to see a lot of content on this game once it's fully out. And I get to sort of explore everything and do everything that I, po I can possibly do in the game. And try to get into more events that will pay out a little bit more money and actually be able to buy... Some serious cars. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more fun. Uh, I can tell you that now. But again, thank you guys very much for watching uh, these last few videos on the crew too. I really do appreciate everyone that has been uh, has been liking the videos, have been watching everything like that. Uh, again, I appreciate it very very much. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.